Aya, uh, did you know that fire can sometimes be a little scary? But some forest types need fire in order to survive. Yeah, burn, baby, burn. a rather different kind of forest. Yeah, it is. This is an oak barrens. Barrens. Barrens, meaning not a lot necessarily grows here. Okay, but some things do. They do, and we manage it with prescribed fire to get what we want and not get what we don't want. All right, well, what do we want? We want oak. Oh. Yeah, and we want blueberries <laughs> and cherries. Yeah, yeah, things like that. So the fire does what? It burns away the competition. And the uh, good things, like little oak seedlings, can grow grow back. Here you go. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Well, but then how does prescribed fire differ from just like regular wildfire? Well, you know, that's a good question. So let's take a look at that. Wildfire is, after all, often dangerous and scary. We usually see in the news how wildfires can consume large forested areas and any houses or other property that might end up in its path. Now, accidental and uncontrolled fires started by people are one big reason why the Smokey Bear campaign came along to help people better understand and be more aware of wildfires. But some say that that very successful advertising campaign has led to a general belief that all fires are bad. Don't let forest fires be your fault. Make sure your fire is dead out. As it turns out, there are those forests that need fire in order to survive and reproduce. This, Georgia, is what we call an oak savanna, and it's maintained by managers by using fire. Prescribed, prescribed fire. fire. That's right. Purpose. That's right. Of course, we weren't the only ones to use fire as a tool, right? No, nor the first ones. The American Indians figured out that they could use fire for a lot of different things. Blueberries, of course. Yeah, we like blueberries. Everybody you know, right? does. Yeah, and they would sometimes drive game, or they would ha you have these open areas as protection against enemies. Makes sense. But in the management of oak savannas, this is what we're looking for, these big grandma oaks that have... Babies without any competition. That's right, right. there. And so that's why we use fire to maintain this area to keep it open. Sounds good. And if we don't have fire, then succession happens and... Well, the maples and the other tree species move in. And as you can see, there's not a lot of light under there. I mean, that forest is just fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Sure. But if you're trying to manage for the rare oak savanna or some of these other rare habitats, managers must use... Fire. Fire. That's right. So a prescribed fire doesn't even start in the woods. No? Then where do you start a fire? Well, it starts with the manager in the office oh. putting together a burn plan. And then, only then, do they meet up with the team to make sure that all the team members know the what's, the why's, and the where's of the prescribed burn. Those guys have really cool clothes. Look at those yellow shirts. They do, and those are fireproof. Fireproof. Ooh, cool. That's neat. Yeah, plus they also make sure that they have enough water and fuel, the fuel to get the fire started, but water to keep it under control. Yeah, and then, and then can we light the fire? Not yet, not no. even then. You have to make sure that the weather conditions are just right. We need to create this area without vegetation all the way around the burn so that it doesn't get out of control. Oh, well, I suppose that's a good idea. Yeah. Can we light it now? Uh, Let's give it a try. Let's go light the fire. Oh, look at those guys. What's that thing called? There's fire coming out of that nozzle. What is that? A drip torch? A drip, drip torch? I want one of those. You know, those flames aren't very big. Ah, uh, kind of slow and low. Yeah, that's not quite what I was expecting. I was thinking something more exciting, you know, like deer running around and things burning up. And this is, this is actually not really too terribly exciting. No, it's not, but that's what they want. Well, I suppose you don't really want the thing to be too exciting, do you? And out of control, that's I right. I suppose so. The whole time, then, they're monitoring to make sure that the Flames are going in the right direction and in the right way. 
Now doesn't that kill the other trees though? The ones that you want? Even though the top layer leaves or grasses burn off, the flames aren't hot enough to kill most roots, standing trees, or the soil organisms. No. So what's left then is pretty much clear, clear black ground like that, and, and that, that must reduce the competition from other species and trees and maybe control some of the bad guys like invasive plants? Ah, yeah, we could do that. We could do that. Oh, okay, cool. I like fires. Nice. Wow. Yeah. That was really something. I'd like to do that one day. Wouldn't that be fun to yeah, do a yeah, prescribed yeah. burn? Yeah, absolutely. Do, do you think we could do that here at, the, at this site? Mm, I don't know. There's a lot of succession already going on right here, right? A lot Lots of young of trees. You know what we should do? We should make a plan, plan first, a plan before we do anything. That's right. Yeah. Bill, what? do you s smell smoke? Yeah, I kind of do. <gasps> what? Bill, your pants are on fire. What? what? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Jeez. Oh, no. Ow, ow, oh, ow, ow, ow. Uh, Bill, so how are those pants? You want to show everybody? Uh, no, no, I'll, I'll stay where I am. But we did learn a lesson Yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah, We leave prescribed burning up to the professionals. professionals. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. And we can use fire for a lot of interesting things. A management tool to help maintain oak barrens and pine barrens and savannas and those. There's some really interesting places Very here. Very special. Very yes. special yes. indeed. So if you like this kind of stuff, you can join us in the next episode of Believe It. Or, or not. not. And don't forget to subscribe. Oh, subscribe. subscribe. That's right. Thanks, James. You're welcome. <laughs>